Thanks for watching our video. This week we are making bran muffins. We were going to use my grandma's bran muffin recipe, but somehow that file has disappeared. Um, I went to find it and it was blank, which was upsetting. But um, she'll tell you about how she had to change the recipe anyway because it was basically regular muffins with bran in it. Yeah, it uh, felt like... Uh... A, a, a lie, kind of, right? They're called yeah. bran muffins, so they should be healthy. And these ones had white sugar in them and uh, white flour in them and even more healthy, lard. Lard. Uh-huh. So I had modified it. Yeah, now can't find the modified version. So we looked on the internet and I found a recipe from our crazyadventurers.com. I will post it in the... Uh, it'll be up there. <laughs> So yeah, so we're making those and uh, yeah, back to Caroline. <laughs> so as I have famously always said, I think that muffins are a lie that we tell ourselves to eat cupcakes in the morning. But mm. here we go. The neighbors are getting some brain muffins. Okay, mom, knock me through it. Okay, so the first thing to do is the, the, the recipe calls for buttermilk and as per uh, okay. episode one, so we didn't have any buttermilk. <laughs> So uh, we made some we made some sour milk. Here's some we made earlier, as they used to say in the old uh, uh, videos of cooking videos. Yeah. So, and Caroline will show you that with a tablespoon of vinegar and um, up to the really cup line. See it, but it has it has sour. sour. You can see little dots on the side. Okay. So, it says to put the uh, yeah put the put the um, soured milk in the bowl and add the bran. So this isn't bran flakes or bran, what are they called? Uh, you know, all bran cereal. It's your actual natural bran, which Caroline will show you in a second. Oh, don't jiggle, good. So it calls for a cup and a half. Mix those two ingredients together. Oh my gosh. You opened it with your usual opening bag plan. Me? It's very close to the, the yeah, zipper. Yeah, I'm not good at this. She, she is not good at that. <laughs> Three sealable bags. Okay, so. One and a half cups, you think? Yes, and then mix it together. One. And maybe we should show them what natural bran looks like. Okay, come look. It's like that. See? And Caroline is adding the other half cup. Other full oh, cup. Oh, the other full cup. Okay, there we go. All right, so. Mix them together. Mix them together. Uh-huh. Bran. So we want the bran to absorb the milk. That's it. And well, once it's mixed, we. Sorry, I lost your head there. <laughs> Don't lose your head, Caroline. I lost your head. <laughs> okay. Um. We'll we'll put together the dry ingredients. Well, wow, that's so. Cute. So I'm gonna need multiple bowls. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that beforehand. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Fortunately, we are a kitchen that has multiple bowls. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to show you or the bowl. There we go. We... <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. So now, into that bowl, please. Um. Dry ingredients. A cup of all-purpose flour. A cup of all-purpose flour. If you wanted to, you could use, you know, slightly less than a cup of whole wheat flour, or you could do half and half. Need my leveling knife. Uh -huh. One cup of all-purpose flour. Uh -huh. A teaspoon of baking soda. Which is the orange one, yeah. In there with the dries. And a teaspoon of baking powder. What's the difference between baking soda and baking powder? Yeah, I wish you hadn't asked me that. That uh, baking soda um, is a is a you remember from high school chemistry is a base um, and uh, alkaline and uh, the sour milk is an acid. Uh -huh. So the mixture together uh, when they hit each other, 
um, they fizz baking soda and like sour something vinegar right, right? Milk, yeah. and that helps to raise the uh, dough oh, baking, batter yeah. yeah baking powder has baking least, soda and something else in corn it corn starch and monocalcium phosphate okay right now okay all right those are in and okay. half a teaspoon of salt yeah we're using table salt again put those in the sink oh well and then any sugar not in this mixture we have another bowl that we have to establish now <laughs> and kevin's for the dishwasher right mm -hmm. Caroline? okay <laughs> okay so. um oh mix those together using a whisk then you can use the same whisk to mix together the wet ingredients okay. all right oh i shut the recipe duh <laughs> shut the recipe by accident Okay, in the wet ingredient bowl, we're going to add one third of a cup of vegetable oil. We're supposed to use wet measuring, uh, a wet measuring cup since it's a wet ingredient. Does that really make a difference? <laughs> uh, yeah, because it, if you hold the dry ingredient measure s slightly awkwardly, you're not going to get a level. Right, okay. Yeah. And like as with, you read the meniscus. Right. That's right, you have to kind of crouch down to eye level so you can see. Because nope. uh, there's this thing called parallax, right? Man, we're really doing the we physics are. and the chemistry and the. Speaking yeah. of science. Yeah, big but science. <laughs> okay. okay, so there's hot into the liquid there bowl then. Up. An egg. An egg. Oh, I forgot the egg! Oh, don't panic, we got lots. Apparently, they're running out of eggs in the States. Oh like my some goodness. McDonald's don't even have enough eggs to make egg McMuffins. That's a tragedy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, so one egg. Yeah, I think it calls for a bit of vanilla, doesn't it? It does. I have vanilla out, so I yeah. hope it does. Uh, it's a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Once again, the world's most ginormous bottle of extract, thanks to my sister. No, no, half a teaspoon. Oh my goodness. Ah. Yeah, I keep throwing it into the sink. <laughs> Thanks to my sister-in-law, who brought it back from Mexico, Mexico. four years ago. <laughs> We're getting through it. Oh, yeah, we are. It's tricky to pour a small amount out of it, though. Yeah, because it's a big bottle. Maybe we should decant it into something smaller. I think I feel like it's too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, the final ingredient for the wet yes. is, I know it's not wet, it's, but two-thirds of a cup of brown sugar. Okay, and are we adding molasses? Oh, we could add some molasses. Like my my mother's recipe had molasses in it, which makes it darker color, right? Molasses being dark. And also uh, adds an extra layer of flavor. So we could add a tablespoon of molasses. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to prepare the, the oven. Wait, and birth. <laughs> <laughs> These are the things you're supposed to do first. Turn on the oven, 375. And um, prepare the pan. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Kind of crooked. Move back. Yep. Make sure it's thoroughly. Yeah. Be thorough. Okay. That's all. Well, now Oops. I'm doing each individual one. Okay. Good. All right. So there. Now, <laughs> meanwhile, back at the brown sugar. Brown sugar. And remember, folks, you're supposed to turn the oven on and prepare the pan before you start. Did you squish that down? Yes. Okay. So now you're going to use that same whisk to uh, whisk all that stuff together. Let's see what it looks like here. This is what the wet ingredients look like at the moment. Caroline is whisking-ish. you got to break it up first. Yes, you do. Oh, did you put any molasses in or not? No, I didn't. Okay, how much molasses? A uh, tablespoon. You know what they say about molasses? I do not. They say slow as molasses in January. And you know how it never it never actually all comes off? Yeah. Look, show. Well, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, peeps. It doesn't actually all come out. So it's a good idea to... Uh, Overestimate. Yeah, or spray the inside of your... Yeah, of your measure with... Some cooking spray first, okay. okay. So, as you can see, so it looks it's browner. Behaves a little bit like soy sauce when you add it to things. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Browns it. Okay. I want this to be 
just remove the S. Oh yeah. Oh, Sorry, okay. I left my instructions behind. And now she's tripping over the chair. Yes, I am. All right, next. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Take the wet ingredients and beat them into the buttermilk bran mix. So you'll need a spatula for that. Need a spatula for that? Can't use... Well, no, you to, to put A oh. into B. I see. Yeah. For decanting. That's it. Be thorough. And just put the put it at the back of the counter. Gross. Good. And now you can use. Oops. Yeah. It's too bad you didn't use a bigger one, but. Well, hey. I was unaware that it was going to be a endless whiskey. Yeah, a key tool. I better back up because you're there. Sorry, videographing suffers when I start paying attention really? to the yeah. All right, so what does it look like now? Oh, but it won't get out of the uh, whisk. <laughs> it looks like this. Looks like this. Yeah. Next. Then we put the, the dry ingredients in there. With the whisk? Uh, well, you can just, you know, pour it in because it's dry. And then I normally use just a spoon to mix the wet and the dry together. And this isn't a, like, don't over miss? Yes. That's right. So start in the middle with as tight, yeah, and stir out, as it were. You're probably going to need the spatula at some stage. Well, I just put it in this way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You're too fat, fast on the draw there, Getting kid. things out of the way. Yeah, don't over mix. Just the brown sugar. Oh, well. Sweet treat for somebody. Yes, someone will get a little pop. Crunch. Pull down the sides of the bowl. Well, scrape down the sides of the bowl, I said. Okay. So, yeah, I would say that's probably mixed enough. Okay. All right, so this is the time when now Caroline is supposed to uh, decant the uh, mixture into Oh, I'm not. Sorry. Caroline, sorry. <laughs> So I can't talk and videograph at the same time. Um, Caroline's supposed to decant the mixture into the muffin tins. However, no, why? Okay, so time to pause. Oh, no. Okay, we're back. Mom's wearing an apron that I liberated from my previous job at Starbucks. And we're going to now, uh, <laughs> hi everybody. Oh, oven's ready. Yay. Uh, put the uh, batter into the individual muffin cups. And I'm going to use this wonderful implement. It is a... Ice cream scoop. Yeah. Perfect for making sure that you get more or less the same amount in every in every hole in the muffin tin. Yeah. Cover. Yeah. So, here we go. Entertaining them with something while I do this. Or is this entertaining? This is entertaining. Oh, rats. Is your fingers gross? Oh, Good. oh that was our dishwasher. Camelot! <laughs> yeah, we could burst into the song now, couldn't we? We could. I know it seems a bit bizarre. Sounds a bit bizarre. Oh. <laughs> I've never actually seen it. Maybe they didn't hear that, go the dishwasher do that. You should explain. Our dishwasher goes beep, beep, beep. And it sounds like the first few notes of a song from Camelot. Yeah. Called Camelot. Uh -huh. So, you see they're sort of maybe the right size. Same amount, trying to keep it off of the outside of the pan, yes? As I'm much as we to, can. Yeah. Are you not going to have enough? Yeah, I am. I just, uh, I'll probably have to do a bit of fiddling. Ah, too. redistribution. That's it. Yeah. You know, for fairness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Redistribute the brand wealth. Here's one. I'll leave it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think somebody's got a bit too full because the mixture's sloppier than I was expecting. Hmm. 
And what will you use to liberate, to redistribute? A spoon. Just a regular old spoon? Yeah. You don't have a fun tool for that? <laughs> no, I don't have a fun tool for that. Let's see here. What do you think? Uh, which ones do you guys think? I think this one has a lot. This one has a lot. And the first one? First one. I mean, they're starting to rise. Can you see that? Oh, they are, yeah. Yeah. Take a little bit And then here. into that one. Yeah, and then I think they're good. Think they're even, guys? This one looks a bit cool to me. And we'll push that in there. And, and yeah. Do we wipe off the? Not normally. Okay. It just like because the spray is everywhere. Right, right, right. It will just in theory cook and then break off. And let's just pray that they're not gonna rise over the top of the individual muffins. And okay, and blend into one giant muffin. Yes. And then how long? Good question. <laughs> Goodness. I don't have it here. <sighs> okay. We were prepared. <laughs> blah, 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 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll put it on for the least amount. Oops. What? That's right. Oh. You hit bake instead of timer. I did. Oh, my gosh. Timer. Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, that doesn't right. <laughs> We're not going to bake them for three, four hours and 22 minutes. Okay, just. Okay. Ah. Cancel. Okay. Let me zero bake. <laughs> nope, that still says 425. No, that's the time. It's it is not 425. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're having some technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Okay, there we go. We're back. Timer's at 15 minutes. Oven's at 375. And then we'll come back in 15 minutes and show you guys how we did. Oven just beeped. It's been 15 minutes, so we're gonna take them out and test them. Ooh. Ooh. All right, what am I using to test them? Um, what are those things called? Toothpicks. Okay. In here, middle shelf, on the right, behind something. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Stick the other end in another one from the middle. Now let's try. Oops. I did those too. Yeah. yeah, I think they're... Hmm. Well, I would say two minutes longer. Okay. Just to be sure. And we're going back in the oven for two minutes. Little browner around the edges. <clears throat> right. We tap the middle. Oh, you've got. Sorry. You spring back, right? Yes. Okay. So put it on the cooling tray. Okay. And now we're going to wait for five minutes while they cool. Okay, five minutes are up. Mom's gonna tap them and flip them. <laughs> She's loud. Close. Ooh, 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 action shot. It loosens them, you see, when you tap it like that. Makes them let go. Makes them let go. Okay. And there's our brand muffins. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.